Good morning everyone. Welcome to my channel. I'm Sharmin. Today I'm going to talk about gene control in eukaryotes. So let's get started. In general, the number of different proteins that act as transcription factors increases with increasing size of the genome. So this means that uh, eukaryotes have many more way of regulating gene expression than have prokaryotes. In human, for example, about 10% of genes code for protein which act as a transcription factors. The factor may bind to the promoter region of a gene. They may increase or decrease the transcription of the then that gene are expressed in the correct cell at the correct time to um, the correct extent. So you can see here the diagram. Um, this is, you can see, uh, gibberellin receptor, this is DELA protein, PIF, and this is enzyme, you can see, and this is gibberellin, okay? So, PIF cannot bind to a gene promoter while it is, uh, it is bound to a DELA protein, okay? And uh, here, another thing. And here you can see this is gibberellin here. This is gibberellin receptor green color, okay? And this is DELA protein and uh, this is enzyme, okay? So gibberellin bonds with a receptor and an enzyme. This initiates the destruction of the DELA protein, okay? So now you see here, PIF and this is trans transcription and DNA. Okay, so PIF can now bind with the promoter and transcription can be initiated. So gibberellin has this effect by causing the breakdown of DELA proteins. A DELA protein in, uh, inhibits the binding of a transcription factor such as phytochrome in interacting protein that is PIF okay phytochrome interacting protein PIF you must remember that to a gene promoter by causing the breakdown of DELA protein gibberellin allows PIF to bind to its uh, target promoter and a transcription of the gene can then take place resulting in an increase in amylase production so guys i hope that's all thank you for watching